I do not feel well. Is this a side effect of insulin, Lavimir? In order to answer this question, first we will review the common side effects of insulin. Next, we will talk about how you can tell if you are having a side effect for any type of insulin, and what you can do about it. Let's first review the common side effects of insulin. Some side effects are the same among all types of insulin. This includes low blood sugar, weight gain, swelling, and maybe a small rise in blood pressure. Changing to a different type of insulin will not make much difference. Another common side effect of insulin is skin reaction. However, you may have skin reaction to only one type of insulin, but not to the others. For example, insulin lentils may make your skin red, itchy, or painful, while other types of insulin like Lavimir or Traceba may not give you the same problem. Or it may be the other way around: you have skin reaction to Lavimir, but not to lentils or Novolog. In addition, if you keep on injecting the same spot of your body, the skin there can get thicker, and that will affect insulin absorption. So always rotate injection sites. Now let's talk about how to tell whether insulin is giving you the problem, and what you can do. First of all, review the common side effects of insulin that we have just discussed. Find out if what you are experiencing is a common side effect of insulin. If it is not a common side effect of insulin. Then, your symptom is likely from other medical condition or other medications. However, if you cannot figure out what else can do it and still feel strongly that insulin is a problem, you can switch to a different type of insulin for a few days and see if you feel better. If you do feel better, your problem could be a side effect of the first insulin. If you still do not feel better, Then please look for other causes. On the other hand, if your problem is a common side effect of insulin, then the solution depends on what specific side effect you are getting. If it is a skin reaction, you can switch to a different type of insulin or change injection sites, and that will usually solve the problem. Or if the skin reaction is really mild. It may just disappear after a few injections, and rubbing some Benadryl on the injection site can also help. If it is not a skin reaction, but something like weight gain or low blood sugar or swelling, then switching to a different type of insulin is not going to help. In that kind of situation, we will have to use as little insulin as possible to control blood sugar. Let's look at example. This is a gentleman who recently started to take insulin basiglar. He has gained weight, but reviewing the common side effects of insulin, you notice that weight gain is a common side effect. However, changing to a different type of insulin will not make a difference. He will still gain weight, and his blood sugar is so high that we have to use insulin. We try to use as little insulin as possible. So he does not gain too much weight. In this second example, a lady started to take insulin Humalog recently. Then she had a skin reaction at the injection site. It became red and itchy. After reviewing the common side effects of insulin, we found that skin reaction is a common side effect, and the problem could be solved by switching to a different type of insulin. Or changing injection sites, she still had the skin reaction after changing from injecting arm to injecting abdomen. We also tried some Benadryl on the skin, but it was still itchy. So eventually, we switched to insulin Novolog, and her problem was solved. The next example is a lady who started to take insulin Lantus recently. And then she had back pain. By reviewing the common side effects of insulin, you notice that back pain is not a common side effect. 
most likely her back pain is from another medical condition or medication. She went to the emergency room and was found to have a kidney stone. What I would like to highlight here is, if your problem is not a common side effect of insulin, make sure you look for other reasons so you will not miss a serious medical condition. The next example is a lady who started to take insulin traceba recently and she felt tingling in her feet. By reviewing the common side effects of insulin, you notice that tingling is not a common side effect. However, she still felt strongly that insulin traceba is a problem, so we switched to a different type of insulin, insulin levomere, but the tingling continued to be there after a few days. We did some additional investigation and it turned out that she had low vitamin B12 level and her tingling disappeared after she started to take vitamin B12. Important points for your safety. First, most side effects happen within a few days after you start the insulin. If it happens much later, let's say two months later, it is very unlikely to be a side effect of the insulin. Second, monitor blood sugar closely after you switch to different type of insulin, at least twice a day in the first few days, because blood sugar can go up and you may need to change insulin dose. The third point is very important. If you feel very sick, then regardless of the reason, go to the emergency room. Don't wait. When switching insulin, you need to switch to the same class of insulin. Long-acting insulin need to be replaced by another long-acting insulin, and short-acting insulin need to be replaced by another short-acting insulin. If you're not familiar with this concept, you can go to hmf-diabetes.com and search what types of insulin are available to find out what insulins are long-acting and what are short-acting. Or you can just search any question about diabetes on the website.